Hey guys, welcome back to the Nichols Nook. I'm Jess and today I will be giving you a tour of the guest bedroom and bathroom in our new house. So if you are already subscribed to our channel and have been following our journey, you will know that we recently moved into a brand new house and I did show you some of the home decor pieces that I have picked up for the new house, but I really don't want to reveal where all of those items are until we do a full house tour. So for today, I just wanted to share with you a teeny tiny part of our house that we have actually finished. So I am so excited that we have been making progress and really all of the stuff that I showed you in our hall, we haven't put into place yet in the entire house. So definitely stay tuned for a full house tour Tour. I think I'm going to do a fall edition because by then, since it's almost fall, I will have had time to get a little bit more settled and have things put out where I want it. Plus, Chaz has been working on building some furniture for us and that is taking a little bit of time. So thank you guys for your patience. We really can't wait to share the house with you and so far it's coming along really, really nicely. Now, if you did watch my home decor haul, you probably noticed that I loved a lot of neutral colors and that is because I want to be able to add in pops of color depending on the season or the holiday that we are currently in. So because fall is coming up, I did start shopping for some fall items and I need to go through the stuff that I already have so that I can put that stuff out before we give our house tour but again today I just want to share with you the progress that we have made in setting up our guest bedroom and our guest bathroom enjoy chief are you gonna give the tour today are you gonna give them a tour oh always always by mama huh all right, so this is the hallway that leads to the guest room, and then we also have our guest bathroom here. We only have two bathrooms in this house, so we do use this bathroom occasionally when we're out in the living room or kitchen, but when we have guests here, that is all theirs. So I'm going to start in the guest room, and this is what you see when you first walk in. So it's very simple. I definitely wanted just to keep it nice and fresh and clean looking and I used a lot of neutrals in here. There really aren't very many pops of color but I just wanted it to be very inviting and cozy and clean for my guests. So this space right here that's between the bed and the wall is very very small as you can tell. So we tried to put a vanity over here just to give our guests some extra drawer space and a place to get ready but there honestly was not enough room between the bed and the vanity when we had it here. So I didn't want my guests to have to try to squeeze through a tiny little space over here and stub their toe or bang their knee or something like that. So we just kept it very open. I don't have anything on this wall. It's pretty plain and simple. And I may add something there later on, but as for now, this is what it looks like. Over here in the corner, I have this beautiful farmhouse chair that I found for $8 from a thrift store and I just loved the natural wood look. I was considering painting it at one point but then I decided I just loved how it looked just as is. So I think I'm just gonna keep it like that but for eight dollars you can't beat that. And then this accent pillow is from Target. Then right up above that I have this white mirror. I got this from my mom a few years ago and it used to be a natural wood color and there used to be some etching on the mirror itself but when Chaz and I got this from her, we painted it white, and then Chaz used Mineral Spirits, I believe, to take off the etching off of the glass, and I actually used this as a vanity mirror in our last house, but I'm using a different vanity now, so we have this mirror up here on the wall. And funny story, we actually are really trying to take your advice and use command strips in our house, <laughs> And some things are just too heavy for them, so we ended up having to nail this or screw this into the wall because I tried command strips, like the ones that hold really, really heavy objects, and it ended up falling off the wall. So thank goodness it didn't shatter, but we definitely had to use screws for this piece in here. 
All right, and then we have our curtains. And sorry if it's kind of dark in here. I do have them closed because we don't have blinds yet, as you can kind of tell. And so I just wanted to make it look nice in here. So I did close those. And I just want to respect people's privacy. Plus, there are some trucks that are working across the street, so it's kind of noisy. And I just wanted it to look nice. So this rod up at the top is a bronze curtain rod that we've had for a few years now, more than a few years probably. So we just already had that, so we used that. We did put the curtains really way up high because we have the 96 inch length ones. So they go all the way to the floor. But again, we were just using what we had already in the house so that we didn't have to spend more money. These gray ones are from the at-home store and I just love the texture of these curtains. They are super, super pretty. And again, they have that farmhouse vibe. I love them. And then our white shears, which are the same in the living room, are from Amazon, so I will link those down below. I like these shears a lot because they have that texture to them. They're not like that really fine material. They're actually pretty thick for white shears, so I thought those just added a little bit of character to the bedroom. All right, and then over here I have my nightstand. So this end table I actually got from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale, and I think it's just so, so cute. It's very shabby chic. I just love it and I love the tray on the top. It's just really, really pretty and it fits perfectly in this space. On the bottom I have a faux grass plant that I believe I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls a while back. And then I got these two crates in the Target dollar spot. They were $3 each. Then on the top I have an oil diffuser. So this one is the pure one. I have two of these and I absolutely love them. I have one in our bathroom and then we have this one in here. And right now the lavender scent is in there just for relaxation for our guests. Then I have this teal clock that I got from Walmart. I think it adds a really nice, almost a vintage feel to this room. And then I have this lamp that I got from Gordman's when we lived in South Dakota. It's very simple and elegant and I just love it for this space. Now over to the bed. So here is what our guest bed looks like and I'm gonna go through each item to share where we got everything. So starting at the top with this wreath, I found this beautiful wreath at Hobby Lobby. It is just hanging on a clear command hook. It is so pretty. It's in their little farmhouse section and I just couldn't resist. I didn't wanna put anything else up here with it. I thought it just really looked beautiful on its own. Then this bed frame is from Amazon. I love this thing, you guys. It was so easy to put together and it really is very simple and I don't know, I just love how it's not thick and overbearing. It's so pretty and has that farmhouse vibe, so I love that. Then we have some pillows, a lot of pillows actually. So the two shams in the back actually came with this comforter. It is reversible and this was on our bed before we upgraded to a king size. Then I have some white quilted pillows, some regular white comfy pillowcases on some pillows. And then these two square pillows I got from Bell's Outlet. They feel really nice and a very high quality and I believe they were only $14. So I couldn't pass those up. They have a lot of different blues, grays, and greens in them. And then this accent pillow is from Target. I've had that for a couple of years and I just love it. It just says, stay a while. The white quilt set is from TJ Maxx. I've had that for a couple of years. I love this look in the guest bedroom. It just, again, feels very vintage and shabby chic. And then over here, I mentioned this comforter. We got this bed in a bag set from Gordman's a couple of years ago. And I don't know, I think just because you have a quilt doesn't mean your bed is necessarily comfortable. I love like squishy blankets and quilts just aren't necessarily comfortable to me. So they look really nice, but they're not necessarily the most comfortable blanket. So I did include this comforter as well, just to give my guests a choice on what kind of blanket they wanted to use. And then of course I have this cable knit throw that I got from Target, just to give them another option for a blanket if they wanna just toss that over. So that is all of the bedding. And then over here on the bed, I have this little gift basket of snacks 
just to kind of welcome my guests. So I just have a couple of bottles of water and then a variety of snacks so that if our guests get munchy in the middle of the night or while they're resting or if we just, I don't know, are doing something else, they don't feel like they have to go through the pantry or bother us or anything like that, which of course they wouldn't be. But this just gives them the option to have a quick snack right at their fingertips in case they want it. All right, and then a couple of other things over here. I have this picture that I got from Hobby Lobby about a year or two ago. And I just love this. Now this one is on command strips and it's holding up very, very nicely. I love it, it's very relaxing. And then over in the corner I have a hamper. That way our guests have a place to put their laundry in case they wanted to do some laundry while they're here. And the reason that I put this over here is just so that it was out of the line of sight from the door because I don't want guests to feel like their laundry is visible to other people. But I do want to give them the option of being able to do their laundry while they are here staying with us. And then let's move into the closet. Okay, so up at the top of our closet, I have a few items for our guests. So first of all, I have some clean pillows, just in case they didn't have enough on the bed, <laughs> which I'm sure they would have plenty, but just in case they needed another set, or if we have someone else that needs to stay on an air mattress in another room, there are a couple of extra pillows. Then we have a basket, and I just wrote extra blankets on a little chalkboard tag. Then I have one for extra sheets. And then this little owl smelly good packet is just a scent booster. It has a fragrance and it smells so, so good in here. And my mom actually left that when we first moved in our house after she visited us for the first time. Then of course I have some hangers for our guests and the very, very much requested and much needed in most guest rooms, a fan. So one of our family members that was here for a family cookout actually bought this to use outside just because it was really hot and she ended up leaving it here for us. So we decided to put it in the guest room because this room does not have a ceiling fan and Chaz and I sleep with a fan on every night so we figured our guests may want, you know, some kind of fan in their room as well. And then over here, since there is no room for a dresser in the actual bedroom, I just brought in this plastic drawer set that we already had from our last house. And it is perfect because guests can just throw some socks or any kind of clothing that they want to in there. It's small, but it's just enough. So it definitely works. And then of course we have a couple of towels on top. And then down here in the corner, I have this air mattress just in case, like I said, we have more guests that are here at one time, which has happened already. So we usually just pull out the air mattress and put that in the extra bedroom that we have. So that concludes our guest bedroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and so much for keeping it clean and fresh for our guests, Chief. <laughs> Goodness, life with a dog. This is what life is like at the Nichols household, you guys. <laughs> But that is it, and again, we just wanted to keep it nice and pretty and fresh for our guests. So if you guys ever came and stayed with us, this is where you would be staying. Is it comfy, Chief? Are you relaxed? <laughs> All right, and then moving into our guest bathroom. I used pretty much the same colors in here, almost spa-like, I guess, and I just wanted to keep it very bright and fresh again, very clean, and I didn't want it to be too overwhelming for the small space. So this rug is kind of small for the space, but I found it at Kohl's and I just loved the colors that were in it. it has a couple of different teals and grays and of course the white accents. Then over here on the counter, I have a few simple pieces. So this white tray I have had for a little while now. It is from TJ Maxx. I bought this soap dispenser, I believe from Target and I just buy the refillable soap to keep in there. This little plant I think I got from TJ Maxx a couple of years ago as well, and then I just painted the bottom white. It used to be a terracotta color, and I just kind of very loosely painted it white to give it a more rustic feel. And then up here I have this candle that I got from Big Lots. And the candle holder was in my home decor haul. I will link that down below if you are interested. 
but I did get this from TJ Maxx. I just wanted to add a little bit of height in that corner just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then we did upgrade to the granite countertops in this house, so these countertops match the kitchen countertops. Down here I have this little white trash can from TJ Maxx, I believe, and then I did get this from Walmart. It is a plunger. That is a necessity, I think, in all guest bathrooms because you don't want a guest to ever feel embarrassed if they have to ask you for that. Down in this drawer, I have a couple of extra materials for any guests, just in case they forgot anything. So I do have some flushable wipes in the back, some Q-tips, this is something that I always seem to forget when I'm traveling, and I always love when people have them ready for me, so I wanted to have those ready for my guests. Some lotion, tampons for the ladies, some extra toothbrushes, and then some extra razors as well. So in the other drawer, I just keep some extra hand towels. I do have more, but they are in the laundry right now, just because we did have some guests stay with us recently. So those are in the wash. And then down here, I really don't have a whole lot. So as you can see, I have some extra towels. I do like to spray this Mrs. Meyers lavender air freshener in the bedrooms and in the bathrooms as well. But I do like to keep it in here when guests are here, just so if they do need to freshen up the bathroom, they won't feel embarrassed and they'll have something to do so. And then I do have an FSU cup over in the corner. That is what I use to rinse down the shower. All right, so right above the toilet, I have these three white shelves. These shelves, I believe, came from Amazon, and they are the floating shelves. Chaz put these up for me. He is such a handy hubby. I love him so much. So I just wanted to put a few things on here for our guests. So of course, we have some extra toilet paper. I got this arrow from Hobby Lobby, I believe, last year, and I just loved the teal color. These washcloths, I think I found at Target maybe. And then I did get this sign, I believe off of Amazon as well. It's so cute and rustic, I just love it. Then at the top I just have a little flower pot and I believe I got that at TJ Maxx. And then this N is a galvanized steel N that I think I got from, oh gosh, I don't remember now. I'm sure it was either a store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, or it could have been TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those stores. But you can find these pretty much anywhere. So those are the white shelves that I have, and I think everything just looks nice and clean and tidy on those. I absolutely love them. Over here I just have a very simple white hand towel. Nothing fancy. I don't like to have a ton of towels hanging up for guests just because, I don't know, I always feel like they have already been used or touched if other people had already had them hanging out. So that's why I like to fold them and put them where the guests can get them themselves. So I have these ones and then I also have the ones in their actual bedroom. And again, kind of going with the spa feel, I guess this kind of feels hotel-like but this shower curtain is from, oh gosh, TJ Maxx, I believe. And then at the top, I think I got these from Kohl's, these shower curtain hooks. So I like those a lot, and again, we already had those, so we were trying to use what we already had. It kind of looks blue in this lighting, but it is a very bright, stark white. And then I am gonna show you the inside of the shower as well. I have a couple of items in here. So first I just have a shower foam body wash. This stuff is amazing. I don't know why I love this so much, but I've used this in my shower and it's really, really soothing on the skin. I really like it. And then at the bottom I have our shampoo and conditioner and I wanted to show you guys these amber bottles. So I don't like the look of shampoo and conditioner bottles all over the shower. So these amber bottles are plastic and refillable and I got these off of Amazon so I will definitely link those down below. They do come with the chalkboard stickers and then I just labeled them with S for shampoo and C for conditioner so that our guests will know which is which. But Chaz and I are putting those in our bathroom as well, especially because we have the glass walk-in shower and I cannot stand to see all of those different colored bottles in our shower. So I figured I may as well put those in here too, just to give it, again, that very spa, relaxing feel. So that is it for our guest bedroom and bathroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed and really like how we are starting to decorate. 
everything is really bright and open and has a lot of room for pops of color if we ever decide to change colors or decorate for the holidays. So again, if you watched my home decor video, you will know that I wanted to create the base of the house first with a lot of neutrals and then we can add in more pops of color. Maybe a flower pot with like some bright yellow flowers would look pretty here, but when you guys see our full house tour, you will see kind of what we have added in. But as for now, this is where we're standing at. It's very simple, but that is what we have done so far. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed our tour and please be sure to stay tuned for our full house tour coming up very soon this fall. By then we will be a little bit more settled and we are excited to share that with you guys. So definitely subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.